was going to, he was going to, well, he called me, and she left. She went to uh, see her boys up in, uh, where's it called? Uh, for Easter. It went to, uh, what's the name of that place they went to? Um, Omaha. She went to Omaha for Easter, so Frank was all by himself. So then he told me, he said, Mom, uh, Lynn left, and I'm by myself, and he said, and it's a little bit gone cold, and it was raining. He said, I don't think I'll come over tomorrow. And I said, well, Ben's not going to have anything for Easter. He went hunting, and he, it was so cold, and the wind was blowing so bad, and I said, so don't come. So he didn't come. <laughs> so then she come back, I guess, on Sunday or something. Oh, don't take pictures. I got my, my oh. hair all rolled up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't take pictures. No. Don't take pictures? And, uh, okay. But anyhow, that uh, she just got back mm. and because she had to teach it or she teaches and all that. So she had to get back. So that's the way it's been, you know. And... Uh, they come, now Ben comes every day or calls every day if I need anything and he takes me to the doctors or something. But now I got the uh, the uh, comfort care and they pick me up and take me and bring me back. So really it's better because if they pick me up and they take me, I just go to take care of my business and the doctors and then they bring me right home. And when Ben and I go, we go eat see the doctor, we go eat, we go shopping, we go get the groceries, and then I am I'm all pooped out. When I get home, I just throw everything on the floor <laughs> until the next day because I can't do it all in one day. <laughs> so that's the way I do it. Well, at least you have a second choice of traveling. Uh -huh. yeah. Come pick you up. yeah, and then on Sundays, most of the time Ben calls and wants me to come over, or Saturday, sometime on Saturday he calls and wants me to come over. So I'll come over and uh, I'll cook something. He says, now you don't have to cook anything if you don't want to, but he says, so if you want to, you can cook something. So I go over there, he got everything and all that. And since they moved to this, the house, well, you know, they're still working on it. That house they bought, it wasn't finished. It was finished, but the guy that did it, he had this, um, uh, oh, the, the, the plugs, the, uh, light plugs and little things, you know, they hadn't finished all the little things. And, uh, but see, he ran out of money and he wanted to sell it. So Ben got that pretty cheap and he got twice as much for the mm. other one that he had. So he had enough money to, to fix that one too, you know. Yeah. So they, uh, and it's got two acres and oh. uh, it's really nice. He's got all this junk over there and he's working on it. And so anyhow that, uh, is it very far from your house? No, no, it's closer. Oh, is it? You know, we used to go down to the river, mm -hmm. and uh, now it's, uh, before you get to that light, you just turn, it's right there. It's not as far as it was. The other one was farther, mm -hmm. but now it's closer, and it's better. You say Zanna's gone right now? She went to Kentucky on her job, and uh, so she, uh, she'll be gone. Are you all hungry? No, we had a late breakfast. Yeah, but that's been a long time, probably. Oh, <coughs> we, isn't it? we slept pretty late. I don't know what time we ate breakfast. We didn't get up till nine something. How long do, are y'all going to stay? Oh. We have to catch the train Tuesday, Tuesday. morning. Oh. At eight. Uh huh. Who uh, gonna? Well, see, Irene called me and told me, did you know that uh, the Gallagher's are coming? Uh. And I, I had to stop and think, and I said. Uh, well, I got a, a, a email, and uh, she said they were coming to San Antonio. Oh, yeah, I said Judy and John said they were coming on the train. Oh, she said they did, and I, she said, you know when they're coming? I said, no, I don't know, but I said, I don't care, they come in time. And uh, so she said, uh, well, um, she said, I don't know. But I called a while ago and tell her that y'all were here, and she wasn't home. She, she's always out someplace. Cookie was there. Yeah. And and I told him that uh, to tell her that y'all were here in San Antonio now, and I said they were here at the house, so they're going to visit over here. And uh, so she said, he said, oh, okay, then that's good. He said, I said, they got came in the train, they said, how was your ride? Well, the one from uh, Oklahoma City to Fort Worth was pretty, pretty nice, wasn't it? It wasn't mm -hmm. real rough or nothing, uh -huh. but then from there to here, it, 
It was pretty rough. Is that right? Yeah. Well, but the they went faster and... Mm -hmm. and well, where did you catch a train at? Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. Oh. We had to go to Oklahoma City and start there, then they took us to Fort Worth. And then we had to switch trains at Fort Worth, and then they, they came straight to San Antonio. But there's a lot of stops in between, you know, to pick up people and oh, really? discharge yeah. people. Oh. And we had to slow down for the other trains to go by. And yeah. That. See, they what? just they just use a regular rail train, you know, the railroad train and track, and then uh -huh. they have to get off of it on a side rail if they're yeah. running a uh, freight train through. So it took one day to get here. Yeah. Yeah, we left it. Um, what time about, did we leave it? I think it was. We had to be there at eight thirty for that train to start out at Oklahoma City, and we didn't get here till about ten thirty that night. Ten thirty. So it was about, it was a long, all day uh -huh. deal. Well, but, you know, it took us a long, there was supposed to be a two hour layover at Fort Worth, but it took us a long to get from Oklahoma City to Fort Worth that we only had about, oh, 45 minutes maybe. Right. Well, you know, uh, it's like I said, somebody said that, that uh, oh, don't go in that train because it's a, boy, it's rough. You wouldn't know how long it'd take a long time to get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it takes a, quite a while if you. It takes longer than it would, you know, if you were just in a car. Yeah. Or even a bus. But probably. it's different. Well, yeah. I like, I well, yeah, I imagine so. I'd like to go mm -hmm. myself. We just I decided we'd try it out. Yeah, I, I would not like to. I mean, I would like to go. I rode a lot of trains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know when um, Vera was in the hospital in San Angelo, me and uh, um, uh, Ben took the train to Childress, uh, Texas, and then from there we went to San Angelo, and we took the uh, the train, and it stopped in every little town, mm -hmm. and we had such a good time. But, you know, now I don't know how people uh, travel mostly by plane, you know. Yeah. There wasn't that many people on the train, was there? No, I don't think so. No, I went on the bus, and I kind of liked the bus myself. Yeah, because yeah the bus is probably just... It rides real smooth and everything too. Yeah, and then I met so many people and everything. Of course, I had to lay it over in, uh, in Dallas and I had to change. Of course, it was kind of hard to change there because uh, I had to wait there an hour and then I had to go on to Oklahoma City and then I had to wait there to go to Venita. But you know, now he doesn't go to Tulsa and Venita, they don't go anymore mm -hmm. to Venita. So you, you, you just got to go to Tulsa, then they yeah, got to pick you up there. And then Dolores picks me up. Well, that's the way the train deal is. The, you know, where the train don't go, they they have them put on buses, and they bus them like from Tulsa mm -hmm. to Oklahoma City. Then you get on the bus there, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can, if you get a, you can start on the train there at Tulsa, but it's on a bus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Irene called, and she said, I want you to come down here and make some quilts. Mm -hmm. like you do for Dolores and Jack. <laughs> and I said, uh, well, you can make them yourself. I said, I can just show you how to do it. Del I just showed Dolores and she wanted to take a class and she said she didn't think she needed one. What I showed her, she could already make them. And so Irene said, well, you know, so then here the other day I said, well, did you get your quilt started? Nah, she said, I haven't even started now. And uh, so I told her, well, just get you a, um, a cardboard and cut the square, see how big you want them. And then you, from there, on, I just cut them all sizes. And then when I need them, I'll just sew them all up and then put it together. And so then uh, here a while back, I called her again. She said, no, well, I cut it and started, but I haven't got to working on it. <laughs> <laughs> and so then the other day, I told her, well, cut them and then just bring it over here and I'll show you how to put it together. And uh, I said, you can sew, like Dolores does, and all of that. And she said, well, I guess I can, she said. So she's trying to make quilts now. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's something else. They get so i tell you, these people are something else. Cookie doing okay? I guess he is. I forgot to ask him a while ago to see how he was doing. But I guess he's doing okay. Huh? Yeah. He doesn't complain. Mm -hmm. They go Wouldn't to, do no good. <laughs> no, like me. Yeah. She they go to the. Shut up. Yeah, uh, turn it off. That's enough. That's okay. enough. That's he'll, enough. Play it, he'll, yeah. he'll play it for Irene. And yeah. yeah. We're yeah. talking about it. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna play. I'm not gonna play it for Irene. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I made the mistake of doing that one. <laughs> the doors went dark. Oh gosh, I tell you. Well, I guess I better get in there and start warming my to. Oh. To make that rise? Uh-huh. Well, there's not much in here.
here. But this is what you put in that rice. Yeah, I found it, but 